Hi guys, welcome to this system here. It's a special kind of system. It is a part of a house. Yes, you might have guessed already. It's Windows 11. You may or you may not know that I like to keep my life simple. On articlenextd.com, how to mount an SSD bay in your desktop to easily switch between, yes, Windows and Linux. So Windows 11 is out, SSD, separate SSD, right? And a Windows 11 USB, download the ISO from the Microsoft website, burn it on USB, boot from it. There's another video how to overcome your restrictions, but there may be more. But um, this is what I do, right? I pop it out, you see the tray, you pop Linux out and you pop Windows in and gaming and working or fun or hobby are separated. And there are more alternatives, but I just show what I've bought, right? But it's not that expensive. So have a look at it. Maybe that's something for you because it's always like that, right? There's always a PC in the house that's the best, has the best CPU, the newest CPU, the most RAM, etc., etc., right? And I'm using it for the ISO builder. Mm. Okay. What if uh, we could use it also for, yeah, teaching? So in system, all the way down to about, you'll see that I have an Intel Core i7, 10,700K CPU, 3.8, but uh, uh, this is not correct, I think. It was around 5 gigahertz, I thought. Anyway, it's super CPU power, right? And 32 gigabyte of RAM, so want to be enough. Super Shift Escape is still there, guys. Yay. <laughs> we still got it. It's just rounded. Yeah. Okay. Whatever, right? And um, some more information if you want to have a look at it. So this machine can do the job of two things, right? Hobby and work. Teaching and work. So that's the goal. Not only is it going to be there for uh, hobby, but the Steam is installed as well. So that's cool. We'll try it out because this one didn't show, did it? This one, Super I, remember, keyboard shortcut, Super I, and then all the way down. Did it specify that it has an NVIDIA card? Nowhere, anywhere near. So, actually, I even re don't recall installing NVIDIA cards. Um, I don't, I didn't, I haven't. <laughs> no. So that's something I'll do after the video, maybe, right? Because if it's working like this, why would I go install more stuff? So apps and features, maybe he got the NVIDIA drivers in, voila, he got the NVIDIA drivers in just by default, right? I haven't done anything for it. He just found that he needed to do that. So that's cool. Plus point, plus point. I've done lots of things. This is a work PC, right? So lots of things have been um, added. This is the first time I launch it. Agree and continue. And now we see the normal panel. GeForce RTX 2060. Now we know the number. So that's a mid-range kind of, uh, well, graphical driver. If you want to know what we all need for maybe a little bit for work, I tried out Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, 5 yeah, and made a Super G with it. So Super G is recording some stuff, but it can only record the games, not this. So this is recorded with a tool called Screencastify. It's an extension in Google Chrome or other browsers. So would I, did I install? I installed Vivaldi, I installed CCleaner. Maybe we should pay some attention to that. CCleaner is an interesting tool. So CC Cleaner, something I always install on my machines. And it's coming from 
pityform.com, the website. Well, the company may be better because cccleaner.com is actually a website. But it's pityform. Nanites, maybe you don't know nanites. A very good tip. A thing I always say to my students, you can forget everything I'll tell you. Please don't forget this and share it with your kids later on. This is the best of the best free from the internet. Well, besides maybe Spotify there. Okay. You just select, just read, select, select, select. You get an executable and you install. That's the first thing I do after the clean install. I've purchased myself an AVG internet security settings, meaning it's a family thing. So I don't have to uh, spend my time fixing Windows computers because somebody clicked on the wrong button, right? AV AVG is uh, an annual returning cost, but it will save me, hopefully, right? Hopefully it will save me time not to drive over to parents, brothers, and try to fix things again. So prevention of crashes, something for work, global protect 64 something for work teams office setup work how to the global protect this is twitter this is discord steam is on there spotify is on there and here is my selection of nanite chrome firefox foxy reader opera installer and later on i did some more i think anyway the clean chip downloads needs to be clean for me um For the rest, as you see, the, the wallpaper, the, the bar is going in height. So I get a nice, beautiful image. I see now a wallpaper that's all spread over the two screens, which is awesome. That's how it should look, right? And uh, for the rest, you know, well, I went into settings, of course, and did my thing with it. So are there things i can explain or share already yeah, i went for a dark look that's um, obvious had to change my displays the two is the two and the one is the two fine works now i have bluetooth boost is connected connect the, the bluetooth with spotify is connected sound is normal i mean great so we're happy Everything works. Haven't installed my printer yet. That's a good thing. That device, let's have a look if that's working. Let's see if it finds it. It's uh, on the Wi Fi. I guess that will be later. <laughs> Network internet didn't change anything. So went into this one, selected uh, dark. My wallpapers, my own wallpapers are shown. So my own wallpapers, browse, slideshow. Every 10 minutes I got a new, I get a new one. What I was looking for and finally found is a desktop icon setting. Some, but some people like to have these icons. And I was looking for it, right? Because, uh, yeah, workflow, right? This is something I did. So as of now, I'll try to choose without anything. So I'm basically looking at two wallpapers because of the menu being gone. Let's see how that goes. That is okay with my workflow. Um, don't think I went in here. In accessibility, I found something that's interesting. Keyboard. Um, yeah. Use the print screen button to open screen snipping. This was not activated. Why, guys? Why? So print screen just did nothing. So on print screen, and I can tell them to do something. Voila. Why that is not on by default. Mind-boggling. Anyway probably did other stuff in there. So this is the settings. There is also the configuration still there. Control panel is still there. 
control panel A, right? Every single time I tell the students, probably it will go away. <laughs> so I'm not going to say that anymore. Probably going to stay <laughs> and not replace the setting screen that the new screen that we have super eye voila i'll um, probably gonna work 50 50. some of the classes i'll do in the windows 10 some of the classes i'll do windows 11 and slowly gradually we'll learn more about windows 11. all right cheers <laughs>